Let's go down the elevator and let's let's continue this mission. Or up the elevator. Okay, whatever. How are we going up? Hey, I love this music. Yeah, that's my kind of tunes. Knock, knock. The grease monkey are... Seems we've got a guest. Yep. Really now, Parvati, I do wish you'd spoken up. I do apologize. I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. Uh, okay. Are you Reed? I'm like, he literally says his name right there. Well, hey, how are you Reed? I was told to talk to you. I'm Reed Thompson, outpost administrator. I cannot help but notice you are not in uniform. Uniform? What are you talking about? I think you may have the wrong idea about me. Yeah, I don't work for Spacer's Choice. Yeah, I'm a visitor, kind of. Maybe, if you will. <laughs> yeah, you have the wrong idea about me. Yes, so it dawns on me. Seems I allowed my excitement to run away with my wits. Been a few seasons since we've had a visitor pass through. Yeah, my ship needs repaired. I'm looking for a power regulator. I don't plan on staying long. Yeah, let's just get to the point. Only regulator we got is hooked up to the town transformer. Mr. Thompson ain't liable to be keen on dismantling it. I beg your pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. I can't let you have our power regulator. But I happen to know of another one. And I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. Hmm, is that so? Let's hear it. Frying myself? <laughs> Let me guess, you want me to do something for you before you'll help me. Yeah, exactly. My proposition benefits the both of us. Please, hear me out. There's a power regulator in the old botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. Go down to the geothermal plant. Reroute power from the botanical district over to us. Once their power shut down, you can have their regulator and be along on your way. All right. Sounds good to me. When you say mostly abandoned, what do you mean? Yeah, mostly abandoned. Exactly. I didn't really pick up on that first time. Uh, that's a lot to ask of a stranger. Tell me about this geothermal plant. Yeah, what about this mostly abandoned me? Probably got marauders there or something, right? I was not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but there are people who live there. Oh, squatters? Ugh. You mean marauders? Marauders aren't people. What? Yeah, that's what I thought earlier. Let's see if that's the case. The people living in the botanical labs. They're deserters. Former workers. I need them back at their posts. I need them to come home. Okay, deserters. Okay, tell me what I need to do. Why? If you want me to solve your deserter problem, I charge by the head. What? <laughs> I guess we could try and make a little bit extra money out of it, but then again, we're getting our power regulator out of us in the first place, but I guess it wouldn't hurt to try, huh? Good law, no, I don't want you killing anyone, least of all them. My hope is that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. Before you go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Tell her the power's about to go, and that it's time her band of deserters came back to town. Uh, all right, Reed, I'll see what I can do to help you. Uh, how will I recognize Adelaide? Yeah, let's, let's, let's at least know what, who we're looking for here. Adelaide's older than the other deserters. She's dignified, kindly. From what I understand, her camp looks to her for leadership. Okay, old person, huh? What if Adelaide doesn't want to come back? These workers must have left for... Oh, yeah, maybe. Must have left for a reason. You're asking me to cut off power to an entire community. Yeah, what about this reason? Tell me about this first. That reason was me. I asked too much and pushed too hard. But I am ready to make amends if they are willing to return to the fold. We belong to one community, the Spacer's Choice family. If we dissolve into factions, then we will all perish separately. Adelaide will understand that. All right, Reed, I'll see what I can do to help you. I can't make any promises. Yeah, I'm like, I'm not I'm not in a cult. I'm not worshiping you yet or whatever. I'm, I'm only doing this to I can get my spaceship up and running, so. I can't make any promises there, Reed. Of course, I understand completely. Here, let me give you the passcode to the geothermal plant. A sign of good faith for so politely listening to me as I ramble on. Are you setting off for the Vale? Because I know my way around. I mean, in case you want a guide. I mean, if that's all right with you, Mr. Thompson. Sir. I hesitate to part ways with Miss Holcomb, but I cannot deny that she is talented. And may prove useful to you. So I guess we could have a companion. Our first companion. Sure, I could use the company. Sure, why not? Great! 
I got my wrenches and diagnosticators and hairpins and engine tape, so I'm all set. Well, I am glad to hear that. Best of luck to you, and thank you again for your help. It is a lot to ask of a stranger, I know. Yeah, this guy, uh, I, I just do not trust him like 100%. Just something about him, you know? Let's get going, though. Let's leave a conversation. Hey, CNP new manager seminar. Companions, you've gained a companion. They are characters that will join you in your adventures and help in a variety of ways. Companions provide combat support. Their skills enhance your skills. They increase your carrying capacity. Yeah, tell me about it, golly. And you can unlock special companion combat abilities with the inspiration skill. Learn more about your companions in the companion ledger. All right, let's continue on. Some people may require you to complete another quest before they will assist you. You can check your quest log for dependencies. All right, well, this is our, uh, basically our Lydia, right? So let's talk to her. We better clear out of Mr. Thompson's office before we talk. Yeah, okay, let's get out of here, Parvati. I'm going to have to get used to saying that. Sheesh. Have to wait for her, or she's just going to teleport to me. I don't know. Man, I love this music that plays in the elevator. Oh, she has a health bar there on the left. That's, that's cool. We didn't have a health bar for, uh, for Lydia, so that's good. She's probably immortal, though. I wonder if she is immortal and can only die from my hand like hey mister can we talk sorry uh sure can we chat sure why not sorry i you just want to get out of here and you likely don't want to tag along like me it's just mr Thompson has his own view on matters on account of it's his job and, and what all but that's not the only side of the tale oh yeah this is about the deserters, so what's the other side of it? Yeah, I'm like, he wasn't telling me the whole story. It wasn't really... Well, I probably could have asked, got that out of him, but... He was kind of kind of dodging it, not really being too specific, if you will. But this has got to be about the deserters. What's the other side of it? What about the other ones first, though? Figures. Reed didn't exactly strike me as being an honest soul. Yeah, like I said at the end of that, I wasn't 100% of that guy. And what he seemed pretty straightforward to me. No, not at all. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> yeah. Let's, let's do... Let's do number one. To Mr. Thompson, a person's a gear. It does its job quiet-like. If it squeaks or stutters, it gets replaced. The deserters are decent folk. I knew some of them before they left. A four? Or before? I don't know. I can't blame anybody for wanting to leave. This town's got issues. Yeah, I know. How well did you know the deserters? You worked for them? Were you friends or what? Did you know this Adelaide Reed? Yeah, I know. let's ask about this Adelaide person. Miss McDevitt? Oh, gosh, no. She was a real important person. A flavorist. Made all the food taste decent. She used to work up in the big office with Mr. Thompson. All I know is she left after her son died. It was a real big to-do. I could hear them both yelling clear from my own place. Hmm, can't blame anybody for wanting to leave. This town's got issues. You can't leave it at that. Why are Reed and Adelaide arguing? Yeah. That really didn't tell me too much, so let's continue on that one. Can't say as I know. I wasn't there. The sound carried, but not the words. If Mr. Thompson ain't of a mind to tell you his own self, you'd best ask Miss McDevitt if you can get out to her. Well, that's what we're about to do, huh? How well did you know the deserters? I don't know anybody well. I mostly listened to them talk, kept my head down. There was a boy named Thomas who used to follow me around, asking questions about the stuff I fixed. He was real sweet to me. Not any sort of dissident. Hmm. Can't blame anybody for wanting to leave. This town's got issues. Life's hard here. Especially for them that don't fit in so well. We're one big Spacer's Choice family, but every family's got the one the rest whisper about. Mr. Thompson's aiming to take away their power. They'll have no lights to see, nor heat to cook. They'll be at the mercy of marauders, or worse. I think you should talk to the town's vicar about it. Max, his name is. You know, just like I said earlier, I, I didn't want to go to that church over there. I'm pretty sure this is what this is, uh, that, that guy is, if I remember correctly. Vicar? At least I know where to go for that guy, right? But I suppose it couldn't hurt. We'll stop by. What do you need to talk to a vicar about? Flipping a switch in your power mill? Where would I find him? I already know that, so I don't need to ask that. Yeah, I suppose it wouldn't hurt. Or, yeah, let's ask about the vicar guy. About if what Mr. Thompson proposes to do is upright. Leaving Miss McDevitt's folk to their fate. Their neighbors. Kin. And maybe he can think of something else to try. Something we ain't. He used to go walking outside town. Maybe he found something that'll help. It's just an idea. That's all. Yeah, okay. Well, I suppose it couldn't hurt. We'll stop by. Thanks, mister. I just think when you gotta make a decision that'll hurt somebody, 
It's best to think on the right and wrong of it. That's what my dad used to say anyways. Yeah, doing some heck, devil's advocate sort of memes. Anyways, I guess we... Where was it? This way? Wait, what was this then? Oh yeah, the botanical lady, so we could just straight go there, but... Uh, if we want to listen to... What was her name again? Paul... Parvati. Parvati said uh, we should go over to this guy first. Oh, what is that one now? Oh, that's another... Uh, oh, that's like the exit, the uh, the town. But let's go over to this guy and talk to him, but... Yeah, we saw him earlier. I'm glad I didn't come into here earlier, or else it'd have been pointless. It's too... clean. I'm like, yeah, it is clean in here. I don't know what this is on the floor, though. But it's like a, a space thing here, like showing there's a star there, and there's, I assume, some sort of planet. Moons and other celestial objects and stuff. Oh, planet, moon, maybe? I don't know. Oh, there's like a star. I don't know what this could be over here, then, if that's the star. Huh. All right, let's go talk to the fellow over here and see what he's up to. Hey there, Vicar Max. Yes, what is it? You're an outsider. Fantastic. Vicar Maximilian de Soto, at your service. Or Vicar Max, if you're the sort who prefers brevity. And Ms. Holcomb as well. How rare to see you out. And with a complete stranger. Curious. Just tagging along, Vicar de Soto. Don't mind me. I so rarely get new people to talk to. Name your poison, anything at all. Spiritual counseling? This season's tossball predictions? The quickest way out of town? I'm like, there's an exit, like, right there, so I don't, I don't need that answer. <laughs> but Parvati wanted to talk to you about what Reed asked us to do. Yeah, you know, like, shutting down the power for those folk. How did you know I'm an outsider? Yeah, I'm like, it, that's pretty obvious. I'm not wearing a uniform, right? And what sort of spiritual advice do you offer here? I guess if we do that before we get, you know, what we're here for. I just thought of something else I need. Yeah. They who are not satisfied with their work are satisfied with nothing. No. How about, um... Work fortifies the spirit. True exhaustion awaits idle hands. This guy's like a motivational poster or something. Sheesh. Um, I was actually asking you what your religion was all about. Seriously, that's what you're selling here? <laughs> uh, yeah, let's do the first one. Uh, I'm actually asking what your religion was all about. The OSI teaches that the Grand Architect set a perfect system in motion at the beginning of time. Contentment is found by accepting one's role in that grand plan. What does OSI stand for? How do you talk with this grand architect? Prayer, meditation, or what? And let's get back on track. Yeah, let's find out what this OSI stands for. The Order of Scientific Inquiry, also known as scientism to the layperson. Oh, Scientologists. <laughs> How do you talk to the grand architect? Prayer, meditation, or what? OSI, scientism, not very religious sounding. You sure you didn't make all this up? <laughs> Mock me all you want. I know my beliefs to be true. All right, well, what about this Grand Architect thing? Let's do that. <laughs> you don't talk to the Grand Architect. Once the universe was set in motion, it stepped back. It has no concern for us. Uh, okay. Well, it doesn't sound like a very motivational religious philosophy. What's there to aspire to? So what's your part in all this besides counseling people? Pretty weak religion you got there. Follow a preordained plan. Sounds like a lot of fun. <laughs> Jeez, I'm being a savage around here for no reason. So I'm feeling the savagery slowly slip out. That was some pretty good alliteration right there. Doesn't sound like a very motivational religious philosophy. What's there aspire to? I suppose we'll do that one. We will eventually decode the plan and all its intricacies. Once we are able to deduce the properties of every particle in the universe and its trajectory, we will know everything. The future, the past, each person's place within the plan, all will be laid out before us. Removing struggle and bringing peace. No one will ever need question their path again. Some even believe this ultimate knowledge will unlock mankind's true potential, and we will all become akin to grand architects ourselves, after a fashion. Uh, I'd like to be a grand architect, so sign me up! <laughs> that seems unlikely. Really? How does that work? Tell me more. Yeah, I I'm just going to be like, yeah, that seems unlikely. I would love to discuss the finer points of my religion with you. Oh, wait. No, I wouldn't. Seriously, though, to truly understand the metaphysics involved takes years of study and contemplation. Well, I am somewhat of a scientist myself. <laughs> Parvati wanted to talk to you about something Reed asked us to do. Let's, let's just jump back to the main thing. But what? I, I thought you would talk to him. You wanted to speak to me, Ms. Holcomb? Every time I've tried to engage you in conversation, you look at the floor, answer in single words, and slink away. 
I can't imagine what would be so grave as to drive her to my mission. What has Mr. Thompson asked you to do? Uh, make a bunch of people basically homeless. Fix the geothermal plant. Cut off the power to Adelaide's deserters. Cut off power to deserters, if you would answer quickly in a... Eh. I'm like, if I was in a hurry, I wouldn't be asking about the scientism thing, right? Let's, let's just tell him that he asked us to cut off the power to Adelaide's deserters. Depriving them of safety from the marauders and wildlife. I can see why that troubles you. Miss Holcomb has a soft heart. Always has, if you believe the talk. Yeah, so what do you advise? What do you think of Adelaide's group, Vigar? They rejected the order of society and live beyond the walls so thoughtfully provided by our Spacer's Choice patrons. Does that strike you as a responsible life choice? Uh, do you mean me or my character? Because, oh gosh, we have a we have a choice that's locked because I guess we don't have as high intelligence. So we can't do it. Yeah, I straight up can't select it. Depends on how well the leader can provide beyond your walls. So what do you advise? Right, great. Can we wrap this up? Yeah, let's just do this one. There's not really any other. I'm like, I don't want to be that much of a savage. Like, golly, yeah. So what do you advise? Assuming your goal is to save as many as possible, then you should bring everyone together. Send the power to Edgewater and convince the deserters to return to the fold. All right. Is that even possible? Right. Just talk everyone into coming together. Yeah, I'll keep that in mind. Sounds like I've got my work cut out for me. Thank you for your time. Yeah. Is that even possible? I'm like, if they're deserters, uh, I don't know, it might be possible. Let's just ask. Not if things are left to stand as they are. If you don't mind a bit of unsolicited advice, be cautious on your way to the geothermal plant. It is not as safe as you might assume. Yeah, I'm like, I've already come across marauders. They're trash. But, uh, and why is that? I've been outside. I'm not impressed. I can handle myself better than a Vicar. Yeah, I, I can be a little bit of a savage here at the end. <laughs> The marauders I met when I ventured outside the walls might agree with you. Bastards snuck up on me while I was dutifully hunting for a banned book in a collector's library. Barely escaped with my life. But you see, one of the reasons I transferred here was to get my hands on that heretical text. If you managed to acquire it for me, I'd pay quite a handsome sum for the book. It was a small little quest for us to find a book and get a little bit of money out of it. I'm like, I do need that money to buy some better stuff, right? A handsome sum, you say. Tell me more. Yeah. Slurp up that money, hey, uh. Why would a vicar be after a banned heretical book? I assume you'll want to burn it once you've got your hands on it. Yeah, let's do the... Let's do this one. Why would a vicar be after a banned heretical book? I just want to keep the writing out of layman's hands. It wouldn't do for such information to fall into public consumption. Uh, that's basically book burning still. Sheesh. You make a compelling argument. Yeah, not really. Seems to me the authorities would be interested to hear you're after this contraband text. I need to know a little bit more about this book before I agree with this. I'm like, I'm only in it for the money, so... <laughs> uh, let's just... Yeah, sure, why not? Uh, yeah, let's do this one. Seems to me the authorities would be interested to hear that you're after this contraband text, so uh, maybe give me a little bit more money to sweeten the deal? On the contrary, my position means that I am one of the few legally allowed to possess such items. But do not worry. You'll be safe since you are acting on my behalf. Uh, okay. Well, maybe you can get your sell to somewhere else. Ooh. Maybe I could get the book and sell it to someone else if they have a better price. Maybe I could uh, maybe get a little bit more money out of him from this. Let's try it. It's worth a shot. <laughs> I can assure you, you won't find another willing to risk imprisonment to possess this book, nor anyone willing to pay the price I can offer. Okay. Well, what is this price? Tell me the price. Ah, uh, whatever. Let's just say, yeah, sure, why not? You make a compelling argument. Glad we see eye to eye. It's a handwritten journal. A faded blue cover with the name M. Bakonu handwritten in the lower corner. I'll mark where I saw it on your map. Assuming you're serious? Absolutely, I'll look for your book. Eh, I don't really care about the extra. I'm only in front of the money. Thank you. If you retrieve it, you can always find me here. Okay. All right. So we have a couple side quests we could do, and uh, Parvati, our, uh, our whatever you want to call her, uh, companion, <laughs> couldn't even think of the word right there. She's going to be joining us for this as well, so that's good. Anyways, yeah, I did see there is an exit here, but I do want to see, because there are multiple exits, right? Uh, oh, local and region. Okay, that's cool. So where are we headed for this one? We're headed all the way up there. So I could fast travel back to the uh, landing site as well, so which way? This way. 
Oh gosh, I don't want to fast travel to... Let's go back to local. So that means I would want to go behind us. Yeah, we're, we're going to want to go behind us. Not not this way. We're going to want to go the original entrance, right? Uh, This way, right? Edgewater. Let's go this way. Come on, Vominos. Let's go. Come on, Vominos. You think corporate's ever going to visit? I'm not holding out hope. Uh, hold on. Let me check again. Oh, no, not that one. Golly, I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> it's this way. Gotta go this way if we want to go the exact direction we need to go. Because it looks like there's three e exits. And, uh, one of them. What in the world is this? Oh, that's... Yeah, that's showing the, uh... Yeah, now we're, now this is the nearest exit, so it changed the waypoint marker for the botanical lab. We'll worry about the, uh, the book thing a little bit later. Maybe while we're out and about. I don't know. Let's see. What is, uh... Oh, uh, she's keeping up with us, so that's good. Alright, let's transition to the Emerald Vale region. Salt tuna cannery, the only source of protein a busy worker needs. <laughs> All right, we're outside. Noise. All right, let's get a weapon out. Oh god, yeah, yeah. We, I guess we can try it. We can get a. Let's get a gun out, sure. Just because we're probably going to have people out here. But then again, I do like the sneaking. Ah, the hammer's just so heckin' huge. Guess I'll just put it up for right now. Guess I'll just stick to the road for right now. Where's Parva? She's just walking casually. Can I talk to her? Where are we headed? What do we have here for options? You mentioned something earlier that I need to. Oh, whoa, what? I guess I could... What? Uh, let's see what this could be. You mean about the mission being too clean? Isn't it supposed to be clean? It's a church. Uh, I suppose maybe there's something else to the church? Let's see. I know, but... Vicar says the universe is a machine. That it runs by law. Real machines have gunked up oil. Scratches. And worn bits. You can tell they've seen handling. Been used by folk. The machine Vicar sees is one ain't never been run. It, it's not for people to live in. It's something on a museum shelf under glass. Hmm. You're a mechanic. Whenever you see a machine, it's in need of fixing. Yeah, that's, that's, that's true. It's an ideal, not what we live in, but what we strive for. Then why'd you want to talk to him? I guess we'll do that one. Why'd you want to talk to him? The Vicar's about the only soul in the Vale who spends his time thinking on what is and ain't right. It's just that when he looks at me, I feel I disappoint him. Hmm. Well, let's get back to it. All right. Well, let's come on, Vominos. All the way, uh, 360 or so meters all the way to this. Gotta keep our eyes peeled for, uh... Oh, yeah. Is this... Oh, evicted. What in the world? That's kind of interesting. They just literally put up signs here that say evicted. Whenever, you know, they've been evicted. Now, there are a couple people there. Let's see a Marauder. Marauder Goon. Don't know if I'll be able to hide in the, uh... Uh, should I just... Oh, there's three of them there. There's one there, one there, one there. There's two of us, though. Hmm. Oh, I have, like, different abilities. What's that there on the bottom left? Z, hold. Oh, gosh, they detected me. Oh, gosh. Man, I was looking at the other stuff. Well, that guy's down. Guess we can reload real quick. Okay, these guys are strictly melee, though, so maybe I can save my ammo and just use this stuff. There you go. You got that guy leveled up. Nice. Sentry Saber. And looks like she took care of this guy, too. Noise. All right, it's good to know some of these guys are strictly melee, even though they literally have ammo on them. All right. Well, that was pretty good. We took that guy down, like, almost instantly. Well, we did once we got the heckin' hammer out, but he was already worn down a little bit. Looks like Parvati took a little bit of a couple uh, hits there, and she's already regen, so that's good. And these guys are, of course, cannibals, as we saw earlier. Basically more of the same right there. So we saw they were feasting on this guy. They are feasting on a fellow marauder. Okay. Well, I'm like, that makes sense if you're a heckin' cannibal. Like, what's stopping you, right? Sheesh. And what's inside of this? Oh, yeah, that's one, oh, that was one of the things that explodes, right? Yeah, I guess I should have caught or I uh, should have shot that. What about that? Or maybe they, I don't know. Maybe that's another one that explodes. Maybe we should watch out for that. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, we did, we did get a level up right there. Uh, so, yeah, we get perks every two levels, right? Skills every level. So we have 10 points we could do here. Maybe we could do some more for melee, just because we have some pretty cool melee weapons. So, one-handed melee is now at 20, which unlocks the power and sweep attacks. Ooh, okay, so now we can hold down the attack. To actually do a power attack, so that's good. And, uh, two-handed melee. Yeah, because right- oh, yeah, you can see the, uh, you can see the, the hammer there in the background. Noise, that's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, now that we're out of the city, I want to switch over- oh, yeah, uh... Yeah, accept. That actually, uh, that actually changed- that actually- No, it didn't! What? Oh! I guess accepting says, oh yeah, forget about it. So yeah, let's go back. Let's go back to, let's go back to melee. I don't know how many I did on there. Uh, one hand is up to 20 now. Range, defense. I guess we do a few defense. Let's get up to 20 on both of those. There we go. Dodge and block are now 20. So unlock the ability to leap, dodge forward and block. Uh, perfect block. Block just before you get hit to stagger your opponent. Ooh, interesting. All right, it's going to be cool. Dialogue. 
So I could do Lion and Intimidate a little bit more, but those are already doing pretty well. What about Tech and Leadership? Now we've got a Companion, might make sense to do a little bit more Leadership. Uh, improve Companion Health and their abilities in combat. So yeah, let's get a few on those. Let's do the rest on those. We have four right now, so sure. There we go. All right, so that seems pretty good. Uh, supply, and boom, there we go, noise. Melee power attacks, by holding down the attack button, you charge off an overhead power attack that inflicts significant extra damage. Doing this charge up during a standard attack will prepare a strong sweep attack that could hit multiple enemies in front of you and is hard to avoid, noise. Company power is not to be wasted on personal projects. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the journal, or uh, what was it? Oh yeah, inventory, I wanted to put the other armor on because we are outside now, so it does make sense for us to actually be wearing this armor alongside the, uh, the mask there, so we take less damage, right? All right. Unlike leap, double double click jump when moving forward to leap forward. Great for quickly closing. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, I didn't see those guys there. Oh gosh, they're actually shooting at us though. Rotter Hooligan. Oh wait, that one's not. Might want to see if I can actually do some good. There we go. Nice, took that guy down. Oh gosh, I've got the time slow thing. Let me go. Oh gosh, let me go ahead through it. There we go. Pistol time. Gotta reload though. Take that guy down. Now he's down. Alright. Okay, let's. Oh god, I keep hitting the wrong buttons. Oh, let's try and get this guy. There we go. I don't know if hip firing is any better, but we got a headshot right there at the end. Oh, that guy's running away though. Trying to heal, probably? Let's get our heckin' hammer out and take care of you. Oh, boom. There you go. Noise. Yeah, we did. What about this guy? Can I not loot him? I guess I can't. I took a little bit of damage there, you guys, but. Yeah, I was hitting Q because I thought that was to take cover, but yeah, that does do the time slow thing, which should use that during the, uh, the actual shooting there, but whatever. Cartridges and light ammo and light pistol there, so nothing really too crazy there, right? Uh, anyways, seems like Parvati's still doing pretty well. She's regen, it looks like, so that's always good. And I should definitely uh, keep my eyes peeled for more Marauders. Is that up there? Some sort of factory. All right, look at this sky, you guys. This looks crazy good. And the game runs pretty well, too. Like, it doesn't run like trash. I got everything maxed out. Oh, gosh, a couple Marauders up there, though. So might want to, Let's keep doing some... Uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, might be able to go around this building and sneak up on them and do a sneak attack from behind. So that's definitely something I want to try and do, but spacebar twice for a dash, probably to uh to avoid hits. But I was trying to do that, and then we actually caught the attention of those marauders. Speed of attention of the marauders. Let's try not to catch these guys' attention, wherever they are. Oh, there they are, right there. Emerald Vale Community Discovered or Community Center Discovered. Now we're in the bushes. Oh, that one's coming back. No, it's going away. There's like two or three of them here. Looks like maybe three. Perhaps I could use the, uh, I don't know, should we use the sawed off? We haven't used this, like, at all, and it uses, uh, light, or not light armor, jeez, light, uh, ammo. I guess we could try it. You guys want to try it? It's gonna, oh, oh, that one's getting really close, though. Nah, I don't think he's going to get too close, so I don't think we could really, all right, let's just get the heckin' shotgun out. Hey, they're knocked, oh, god, whoa, they didn't see me right there. Oh, they... oh does that one see me? I don't know. Oh, man, they're just kind of just hanging out there. I literally just jumped out of the heckin' bushes there, and they didn't even notice me. That was crazy cool. There's that third one in the background. Oh, that well, they're feasting on some flesh right now, it looks like. Let's see, maybe I can go this way. Oh, that one's up the... Oh, wow, man, I was about to... That one's getting really close. Oh, man. Now, I want to see, how did I... How did I do that sweep attack? I need to figure it out, but I could do a power attack. He has a saber. Mm, let's just go. Uh, let's do a power attack. There we go. Nice power attack right there. Another power attack. That just got... Oh, nice. Nice. She actually took care of him. That guy just literally just got uh, blown to bits right there. That's pretty cool. Let's see if, oh, gosh. Man, she's just on the front lines right now. She doesn't care. She's not even taking cover. There we go. I should probably take some cover, too. I don't know how she's doing back there. Try and get some headshots on these guys. One of them's put down pretty well. Might be able to take it out in just a couple more hits. There you go. I'm I'm down pretty. Oh gosh, down pretty low right now. I should probably uh, go to my inventory. Oh, eat some heckin' stuff. Let's see. What am I going to eat here? Oh yeah, we have heavy uh, ammo, right? Golly, I need I need to use the assault rifle from this distance. Yeah. Let's see. What else do we have here though? Natural health regeneration. Maybe we could eat the uh, bunch of nanners, I suppose. Let's use that. Sure. There you go. All right. Let's see if we'll. Let's see. Where is it? Uh, oh gosh, I put it up. Yeah, 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 let's get the, uh, where is it at? Yeah, let's get rid of the telescoping staff. Forget about that trash. Where's the, uh, the rifle at? Light assault rifle. Yes, let's use that. Let's get this out. And see how this guy's doing here. There we go. And he's down. Alright. Got him there. There's another one over there. Let's reload. 
take care of this other guy over here. Wherever he's at. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's almost down already. Okay, nice. How are you doing? Oh, man, she's at half health right there. Nice. She's actually doing pretty well for being out in the open like that. Golly. Uh, oh, man, I got more heavy uh, ammo right there. Noise. This guy's, like, kind of freaking out. Or he was for a second. <laughs> See if we got anything else here. Yeah, it's just more of the same right there. I'm, like, getting some money. Some bits and stuff like that, so that's always good. But, yeah, I definitely do need to keep an eye on the top left corner. That's where my health is. And, of course, the and to use the time slow ability more often. Definitely need to do that, you guys. Holy heck. And to use this heckin' gun. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll change it. Now that we actually have ammo for it. We have 47 compared to heckin' 195 for light ammo, though. So we don't really have too much there, so... Uh, let's put that on three. Let's switch out the, that with the sawed-off, so... There's that. I don't know if we should have been, uh... Using any sort of melees there, just for the memes of it. Although we do have better melee damage. So that's always good to... Think about. Maybe I could use melee damage to... Is there anyone up there? That does kind of zoom. Oh, there's a dead body there. Hmm. I don't know how this system works. Like, if I if I do more melee damage with that level melee damage, or do I have to level melee damage on my own? I think it might be that. There's, like, a ship up there. I don't know if I should, like, hide from the ship or what, but... Let's see what this guy's up to. Marauder Thug. He's got a trip blade. Now, what's that about? 44 DPS. Oh, yeah, this is that thing that does it really slow, yeah. So, uh, basically, like, one hit per second. It does 50 damage and a bleed special effect, so that's pretty cool. It's a two-handed melee, so I suppose I can take it. It's, was it? Three pounds. I'll take all that stuff. There you go, bit stuff. Keep the, the rifle out for right now, though, because we are at a pretty good range, and I do have ammo for it, so might as well use it, right? 